Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about Tailwind and I'm gonna give you a little behind the scenes look of what Tailwind looks like and how I use it for Pinterest. If you've seen any of my other videos talking about Pinterest, you've probably heard me mention Tailwind. It's this scheduling tool that I use for all my pin images and to just post them and schedule them out on Pinterest. For me, it's a time saver. I highly recommend it and I'm just gonna show you more of what this looks like. I will have a link to Tailwind provided down below. If you are new and just wanting to try it out for yourself, you get the first 100 scheduled pins free, which is what I did as I was just getting to learn it and get a feel for it and to see if I actually liked it. And now I pay for the plus plan, which is about $10 a month, so it's $120 total. And I'll show you more of what that plan entails. For me, it works and it's all I need for right now, but like most things, there are different opportunities to upgrade if you Think that that would be a good fit for you so if you click on that link down below i am working on becoming an affiliate with them so if you click on it and you make a purchase i might get a small commission which really helps which i really appreciate so go ahead and check them out down below and real quickly before i dive in and show you what this looks like on my computer how i see it i want to share with you some of the reasons why i like tailwind and also address something that some of you have reached out and written to me and asked me about and i've also seen from other bloggers that i follow but i'll address that in one second the main thing that i really like about tailwind and we'll get into this more but is the schedule so i can put a pin image into my drafts i can schedule it out to the different boards so say 10 different boards i put an interval with it so say every seven days so once a week that one goes out and then it fills in the schedule for me so I have pins right now going until November I create one pin I upload it to Tailwind and then I just kind of let it go it's awesome the second thing I really like is the tribes feature and I think they're actually changing the name of that really soon actually I got an email about it so I know that they are but basically in a very general scale because we're gonna dive in. Tribes is just a great way to get your pins in front of like-minded people in your niche, okay? The third thing that I really like is that it's very user-friendly. It didn't take me much time at all to learn and understand Tailwind. Of course, like anything in life, I'm learning new things as I go, um, but right away I was able to get, to create my schedule, to upload my pins, to, to know how to, you know, schedule them out. I did have a few questions in the beginning and I used their customer service chat team to communicate with them and ask them the questions and they got right back to me, answered my questions. It was awesome. So highly recommend them for that part, customer service as well as just being user friendly. And then the fourth thing that it does that I didn't realize I would use so much is that it connects to your Instagram. So if you are using Instagram to also promote your blog or your website or business, um, it connects to your Instagram account and you can just post right from, schedule out posts, not just post and be like done. You can schedule your posts to different boards from Tailwind. It's great, again, I'll show you more. Now to address what I, I told you I was gonna address, which I didn't really tell you what I was gonna address, but basically there is this ongoing debate, if you will, not really a debate, but just this ongoing discussion of if pinning via Tailwind is as effective as manually pinning. You can see that I got this comment from Life with a Mug Barbara on one of my Pinterest videos saying that she was using, you know, the free version of Tailwind. She already used up all of her 100 pins. It's really easy to do because you go through them quickly, but she actually got more traction on her manual pins. And here I can only speak from my own experience, and that is that I have used Tailwind and just continue to see my numbers climb so I use it because of the scheduling feature it just frees up so much time for me and again it's been effective for me and pinning but I haven't tried to manually pin maybe that is an experiment I will do in the future actually I think I will put that on the schedule because I've heard it from a few other sources but I do know that I follow some bloggers online and one of them tried tailwind versus manual pinning and didn't see a difference so she went back to tailwind she also said that Pinterest came out with a statement that using you know different parties apps to pin to Pinterest doesn't affect your engagement, how they're seen, or your analytics. So straight from Pinterest it's saying that using Tailwind should be just as effective as manually pinning. So that's why I've stuck with Tailwind and would recommend it for you. But I will say this, with me it took a while before my pins caught traction with Tailwind. Um, I was probably doing it honestly for one or two months, not consistently, and I don't think my pin images were very good that obviously changed as I became more involved with it, um, but it did take a while for my pins to kind of catch on. So I don't really have a good answer for you. I would still recommend Tailwind. I'm still using Tailwind. And now I'm gonna give you a behind the scenes look of what Tailwind looks like. 
Okay, so this is what it looks like when I log on to my Tailwind account. Um, there's lots of information in Tailwind and some I use, some I probably should be using, but don't. They have like most pin repinned boards. They have tips to complete your account. This just says that my affiliate marketing tips only has two pins and the most successful have 10. So they just give you little tips like that that you can do to make your Pinterest that much better. And then obviously my information for the week. Over here, I use this a lot. You can see this left side panel. Is really helpful I'm on my weekly summary now but here's my tribes tab as well as publisher drafts uh, scheduled pins smart loop etc oh there's Instagram and then also my insights so it just gives me some more information on my actual pins so where I spend most of my time is over here if I go to drafts and this is the drafts that I have this schedule so I have 49 right now in my queue but here is where I was talking about that schedule so you can see for this week I usually work on Pinterest on Wednesdays so I have until Wednesday all scheduled out but it goes all the way down August and obviously it thins out, but September, October, November, I mean, I have pins going, this is October 22nd and I have pins scheduled out to be, you know, pinned on this day on different boards. I just love it. it. It saves me a ton of time. It also gives me a visual and I can add or take off pins if I want to change things. It's awesome. So let's go ahead and take a look at the schedule. I want to show you some features that I really like. So you can see here are my nine pin images that go out daily. I always make sure that the first five pin images that I have scheduled are my own pin images, the ones that I've created. So these first five are my own, first five are my own, and so on. This right here, if I go to add slash remove time slots, Tailwind automatically generates these suggested time slots based on my Pinterest account and my followers. So when people are most active for me on my Pinterest, it gives me time suggestions that would be helpful or good times to pin an image because that's when my users are on frequently. So all I have to do is go ahead and add this suggested time slot. I can add this one as well. And you can see that I just added them into Wednesday. So then if I go back to my schedule, they'll be featured on there. But I'm actually gonna take those off. And before I was doing like, you know, 11 to 20 pin images a day, and I didn't want that anymore. So all you do to take them off is just go in and delete them. And what's great is it doesn't actually delete, if you have a pin image scheduled out, it doesn't delete your pin image. What it does is it has a little schedule timer on there um, that you can just go ahead and move your pin image to the time slots that you want. But that's how you create your schedule and the different times that the pin images go out to be posted on Pinterest. Adding as many as you want for those days. It looks like Thursday is a popular time because I have nine scheduled right now and it's suggesting four more. We're here on Tuesday, it's not suggesting any. So that might be something to think about for myself if I want to, you know, just on Thursdays have more pin images or something like that. Okay, back to my drafts. So I talked about how user-friendly this is in the beginning of this video, but if I wanna move this pin image up to, you know, fill this in here, all I have to do is click on it and drag it up and then you can see now it's there this one is open because when you go to schedule one of your drafts it automatically goes to the next open space unless you tell it differently so i'll show you what it looks like to then schedule out a pin image that's in my drafts and it should go here this will be really simple um yeah check it out so first i select the different boards that i want to add this pin to so i think here i select nine different boards then i add in a title as well as a description filled with keywords for this specific pin image then i need to insert the correct link so i head over to my youtube channel and find the video that matches this pin image insert that and then i want to add this to all five of my tribes and then i set the interval for seven days click schedule and you can see it insert into the next empty space that worked awesome that's how you do it it truly is as easy as that, especially once you get the hang of it. Of course, if you're just starting, you're gonna have to learn a few of these things, but once you get the hang of it, like that's all I do once a week, make them on Canva, upload them, schedule them out, boom. So moving on to Instagram, I talked about Instagram a little bit and how I, oh here, I'll save this quick. So it connects to my Instagram account and I didn't realize how often my Instagram links would get clicked on. Um, it's it's much more than I anticipated. It's not a ton, but it is more than I anticipated. So you can see here that these are all published already. Apparently I haven't done this one yet. All I would do then is add, let's do this one. So I'll add schedule. And I'm just going to save it as a draft. So I'm not actually going to put the board that I wanted on or a title or a really great description quite yet. Um, so I would just go to save as draft. 
And then you'll find it over here. So you can see real quick, save draft. If you saw that before, it clicked away. Um, but if I go back to my drafts, then yeah, here it is. So then I would do the same thing. I can just add it to the boards that I want. Type in a, a pin title as well as the actual description that I want. It connects to my Instagram. And then I select the interval and I add it to my queue. And then it'll just fill itself in just like my other pin image did. I found it to be a great filler, especially for those nine time slots that I've designated, as well as just kind of melding the two, you know, Pinterest and Instagram. So. I really like that feature of being able to connect my Instagram with my Pinterest account via Tailwind. And finally, let's take a look at tribes. So again, if you go over here on the left hand side, you can see, click on tribes. Let's save it again. So some quick info about tribes. First of all, it is a group of like-minded people in your niche. So you can find, there's tons of different tribes out there and you can find ones that pertain to your specific blogging niche. Second, with the plan that I have, the most basic plan, you can only be a member of five tribes. And with that, you only get 30 pins to tribes a month. So that goes pretty quickly. Oh, and one more thing about tribes is that they usually have some sort of rules. So you can see over here, um, these right here are my five tribes that I'm a part of. Okay. And then this is the rules for this specific tribe. So best blogging and social media tips. It tells you a little bit about the tribe. You have to join by request. So I actually had to like, you know, submit something and they had to approve it. And then here are the rules. Posting pins related to blogging, social media, or online business. Irrelevant pins will be deleted. Here's your best judgment about how much to pin. Please don't spam the board. Um, for every pin that you pin, um, this is one to definitely take note of, but for every pin that you pin, please share two of someone else's. So sometimes they'll kick you out if your ratios are off because the idea is to help promote each other's work. So a lot of tribes either want a one-to-one -one ratio or a two-to-one ratio. So just make sure that you're aware of those and you can keep track of that up here. So for this one, best blogging. So I have 15 submitted items and 31 shared items. So that's great. That's definitely a, you know, two to one here average. Up here, it shows you, you know, I'm a member of my five tribes and then I've done five out of the 30 submissions and it's resetting in 28 days. Um, so uh, yeah, that does reset monthly. And then if I go to yours, you can see the different pin images that have been reshared by members of this tribe. So this one was reshared. Let's see, you click here to see more detail. So this one here was shared by Kristen um, and the potential impressions is 10,000 and she, she pinned it to her board Pinterest for beginners. So it really is a great way if someone with, you know, a lot of followers or a lot of views picks up your pin and then it could go viral depending on Pinterest viral, <laughs> depending on, you know, who else sees it and who else repins that. I really do think that Tribes has helped my pin images be seen by more people and also by maybe like the right people because they are specifically in my niche. So I do think it's beneficial. I do think it is a perk of, you know, Tailwind is being a part of these groups, um, these tribes. And just another feature that I really like about using Tailwind. That is basically how I use Tailwind. You can get in over here if you look to your insights. So if we go to profile performance, I don't really look into these numbers too much. I actually focus more on the numbers over on actual Pinterest, the analytics over there. You can see the growth that I've had this month as well as, you know, my pins and two repins. It just continues to grow. I continue to see this growth right here. And that is why I would recommend Tailwind for you guys if you are looking to use Pinterest for your business or for your blog. All right, guys, that was a very quick overview of how I use Tailwind and the little behind the scenes to get you more comfortable with it and just to show you what it actually looks like. Like I've mentioned, not only in this video, but in other videos as well, it has been a huge time saver for me and it has taken a little while to build up to the numbers that I'm seeing now, but like anything, sticking with it has been worth it. So if you wanna try it for yourself and see if this is something that you would stick with for your blog and for your business, again, they do have that free trial for the first 100 pins. So go ahead and click on that link down below. And let me know what you guys think. Are you using Tailwind? Are you posting manually? What is or isn't working for you? I thought that what Life with a Mug Barbara had to say was so interesting and I appreciate that feedback and that communication and what is or isn't working for you guys. So be sure to let me know. Like I said, I should do that experiment very soon to see if my manual pinning does better than my tailwind pins. 
we shall see. But I have a good thing going with Tailwind, so I'm hesitant to do it. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions down below, if you'd like to see anything in my future videos. I want to fill my content calendar with content that you guys are excited about, with videos you're excited about. I'm working on finishing and launching the blog this week, so that's exciting, and I'll have a video update about that soon. And yeah, anything else, just let me know down below. Be sure to like and subscribe if you would, I'd so appreciate it. Share this with a friend, that'd be awesome too. And we will see you guys very soon. Have yourself a wonderful day. We'll chat later, okay? Bye.